if you're gonna get this because you're looking for that cherry, I don't think you're gonna find it. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you guys are new here. My name is Maria, or it's MJ here on YouTube. So in today's video, I have, as you guys can tell by the title, my wish list for the fall. I have a lot of perfumes on my wish list, but these are the ones that actually, I guess, I wanted so bad that I actually added them to my wish list, you know? So, with that being said, I'll be discussing the ones that I want to add. It's just a chatty video, that way we can discuss and talk down in the comment section down below. I will also be talking about some perfumes that I have recently added from my wish list to my collection, and you guys are going to be hearing my thoughts about them. Also, pause! Check down below. Are you subscribed already? If you're not, then please subscribe. It helps me out a lot, especially if you enjoy my content and you keep coming back. If it's your first time here, hello, hi, my name is Maria. I do a lot of fragrance videos. I also talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and anything else that I just feel like talking about. If you're interested in that, then you are welcome to check out my channel and consider subscribing if you like. If you keep coming back, then please subscribe. It helps me out a lot and give this video a thumbs up once you watch it and you enjoy it. I never seem to be prepared when I start a video, but here we are. We're doing it. <laughs> Before I start, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at the notes on Fragantica. Here we are with a whole laptop on my hand, but we're doing it. We're getting it done. So the first perfume that I've been dying for is Vanilla Woods from the Seven Virtues. I've had this on my wish list for about a year now. I discovered it from Stephanie from SMLXO. I remember that on her list, this was the perfume that she said was the most edible out of all of the ones that she mentioned. And she mentioned this specific part and this is what got me. This smells like an apple crisp with a vanilla ice cream. And I said, okay, <laughs> add to cart or well, I guess wish list in this case. But yeah, it's been over a year and I really, really wanted. And the main accords are vanilla, sweet, balsamic, caramel, and amber. And the notes look amazing. It has pretty much all my favorite notes, especially at the moment. It has pear as the top note, the middle note is rose, and the base note are caramel amber and vanilla like you cannot mess that up so oh but yeah i really wanted and i love vanilla and um i have acquired the perfect vanilla um at this moment that i really like and enjoy but this one the way she described it y'all like i need to add it as in like yesterday so the next one to stay in the vanilla realm is divine vanit this one i discovered from anna in her decluttering video i believe it was she said uh, what did she say peach cobbler or something like that all in all it was like an uh, uh, edible vanilla so of course i wanted it i want anything that's edible and vanilla i don't think i mentioned the house but this one is from essential parfums and the main accords are balsamic warm spicy aromatic vanilla and woody um this has a lot of notes it has vanilla benzoin tonka incense um patchouli cinnamon uh some other spices it has a lot of notes so apple crisp and an apple pie i don't care what it is at this point i just want to smell like warm baked good so basically companies or people that do videos just say one of those descriptions you'll get me for sure to buy so i imagine this one to be like a rich spicy a little resinous yes uh boozy sort of vanilla that's gonna be really really good really really cozy very delicious especially for like the holiday ish time like thanksgiving christmas all that from what i remember when i looked it up the price also wasn't that bad and i believe this house is a french perfume house once again, these are not reviews. These are just things that are coming up at the top of my head and from what I remember. Yeah, I just imagine it to be perfect for the holiday time um, if we're allowed to leave the prison that we're currently in. <laughs> Another perfume that has been on my list for almost a year at this point and this is flower bomb nectar i remember that i went into for ulta one of those last year it was around the time that i've mentioned before where um this girl was like you look like a by the fireplace girl and that's where like my whole perfume journey started or whatever and she made me smell flower bomb i wasn't it wasn't bad it just you know it didn't wow me didn't move me whatever and then um i smelled flower bomb nectar and i was like this is the one it was so good from that point to this today currently right now i have had so many flower bomb nectar samples that like i know the scent at the top of my head it's really good it's the what i want to say the richer sweeter version of flower bomb um i have declared that i'm gonna get it for my birthday you know those perfumes that like you really want and you feel like they're just so accessible not accessible like price wise because it is kind of pricey i find uh victor and rolf prices to never really 
you know <laughs> i feel like they usually um they're pretty good at keeping their prices market price it's pretty hard to find them even on the gray market at a good affordable price and usually when they are i miss the deals so that's what happens <laughs> and the main accords are balsamic aromatic vanilla warm spicy fruity and smoky and it's an oriental floral and the main notes look kind of scary not gonna lie i never really looked at the notes per se like i said i, I just knew i liked this perfume because i discovered it like in person uh, but the main notes according to Fragantico are tonka bean and uh, gunpowder which is pretty interesting I actually don't pick it up like to me this is a sweet floral it has a sparkling vibe to it um, it's really good never fails hello yeah you know it's not always you get good calls but sometimes you get really good calls but anyway all right back to perfume next 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 the next one is kind of interesting not the most interesting but i have you know it's gonna be coming up but this is one of the interesting ones and this is scandal by night from jean paul gautier I'm a joke. This is an oriental floral. The main accords are sweet, honey, balsamic, woody, fruity, white floral. And I discovered this one because of the original, but I'm scared of that one. I know that the most prominent notes on that one are honey and patchouli. And that scares me because if you're familiar with my channel, I'm not the biggest fan of patchouli. It has to be blended very, very specifically. With that being said, some of my favorite perfumes do have patchouli, but like I said, it has to be blended in a specific way. Honey already is a very thick and rich note. So with patchouli, that can go sideways. This one would grab my attention. It has cherry. And cherry is a fruit that has this slight tartness into it. And I love fruits that have either that juiciness or that slight tartness. This one though, the night version of it also has pear. So you guys know I love me some pear. So I find this one for some reason to be darker, more smexier. And uh, I don't know, just I feel like it has more depth than the original um, Honey Bomb. The other one is that. I feel like it's just a Honey Bomb. And it's it really just doesn't interest me for some reason. Uh, so this is the one that I want to add next. The... <laughs> Okay, on Fragantica it says, it's a sex bomb, sex bomb, you're a sex bomb. This perfume is shamefully sweet, bold, strong, and confident. Um, so that seems interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, next, 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 next. The next one that I have on my list is my Burberry Black. This is one also last winter that I added to my wish list. I have a wish list here. I don't know why, but the House of Burberry never really just, never interests me. To be quite honest with you guys, I can't say that it was one specific person that made me want to add this to my wish list. As you guys know, I usually try to mention who it was or whatever, but this is just one that I've seen overall many times on different channels or whatever. Uh, the main accords are amber, patchouli, rose, fruity, balsamic, and floral. And it's an oriental floral. It actually doesn't have that many notes. It has uh, jasmine, rose, peach, patchouli, amber. I love all those except for patchouli. It has to be done in a specific way. I feel like it would be an essential and such a good perfume for the fall time. Something about it just makes me want it and crave it. So that's one that's been added to my list. I feel like it would be um, like an elegant, rich, um, like peach syrup. But that's what just I imagine it to be. I feel like it has some depth and it would just be amazing for like the nighttime. I don't know. That's just what I have envisioned in my mind. If you have it, comment down below what do you think about it and if I'm envisioning it at least somewhat correct. <laughs> All right, so the next one that I have on my list, this is one that I'm gonna try to get my hands on before the price goes up because from what I gather, it's discontinued. Um, because I literally can't find it anywhere and this one I know for sure uh, who who made me want to add to cart and this is just Cavalli gold for her Cavalli for a woman that's a long ass name but this one of course was added to my wish list because of the mother of the Cavallis <laughs> Miss Amber Chantel and the main accords are woody nutty sweet powdery and leather it's an oriental floral but this is one that when I was like on not was I'm I still am and I'm still looking for it on my marshmallow kit my click okay on my marshmallow kick that I came across and um, I looked up the notes and I was like Ooh, this looks like a yummy scent so some of the most like prominent I guess like voted notes would be the hazelnut the uh, marshmallow and leather um, I'm not too familiar with leather to be honest with you guys but it is a note that I'm trying to uh, trying to discover 
get familiar with and just know because I can't say that I dislike it because I'm not familiar with it so you know I, I can't have an opinion on it I guess you could say um I won't say that it's a it doesn't look like it's a leather prominent note but that's a I feel like an easy way for me to dive into it when it's kind of has these other delicious notes you know what I mean when everyone is aware that they are completely discontinued that's when they skyrocket currently I believe that I saw it on eBay for like a hundred dollars I want to say so that's one that I do want to get. Search Luton's. Oh, I put like a star. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about that one. All right, the next one. This is the most intriguing one. Um, this is a recent one. I've seen it a lot, but it wasn't until recently that I was just like, I really want this. And this is Kenzo Jungle L'Elephant. L'Elephant. I'm trying, guys. And this is an Oriental Spicy. The main accords are warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, sweet, and vanilla. It has a shitload of notes. It has scary notes. <laughs> the most prominent notes are um, cloves, cardamom, and vanilla. It also has licorice, it has heliotrope, uh, it has cumin, caraway. I mean, it has a lot of notes. Mango, a lot of notes. Of course, I'll put the notes on screen. And from what I gathered, this is a very not safe blind buy. Like, I'm aware that it's not a safe blind buy, but the challenge is what makes me want to have it. And I love elephants, and the bottle alone, I want the bottle too. Like, it would be so beautifully displayed. This is one of those perfumes that I feel like they're maybe not my taste, but I appreciate like the way they were made and how they were composed and I want to experience it. So that's my wish list. Let me check that I didn't um, miss any. Oh, Chagoff Oud. I'm not gonna mention that one because I feel like redundant at this point and repetitive. Everyone talks about it. Um, another one that I wanna add is ISO E Super. Uh, yeah. Now let's get on to the ones that I have recently purchased because they were in my wish list and I added them to my I don't know if you can see on camera, but um, got a new perfume one that i've been talking about for a very long time on here that i finally added it basically i sprayed it and it like me mancho how do you say that in english it stained me so if you can see it on camera yeah anyways okay new edition this is one that i discovered because i've mentioned um let me show it to you guys <laughs> i go on tangents and i don't show the bottle banana republic dark cherry and amber um, I first of all presentation banana republic. Hello. Hi a whole box a whole box y'all This was not expensive at all 20s or 30s range. It was just very cheap. I got this because um, I wanted a cherry I've been in a cherry cake. I finally bought it. I saw red Alessence. I think that's how you pronounce the name I'm sorry if I'm butchering it a uh, review and I was like I need it like now today when I got it I was shocked. I, I'll put like a story because I put it on Instagram. I was like, oh my god, I love this. Like, I'm so shook. Not because it was what I was expecting, because it wasn't. I didn't smell the cherry, but it's because it literally, at first whiff, I was like 540X3. But it wasn't 540X3. It was more of, you know, once I gather my thoughts or whatever. And I was done with the excitement. Um, it was this it smells identical and I don't say that lightly like if you're familiar with my channel I'm very strong on calling things dupes replicas whatever because in the uh, fashion world or fashion industry I guess you could say those words are very very specific and they have a lot of meanings when I started discovering fragrances I see that the word dupe replica inspiration is used very lightly but i don't use it very lightly that's another topic for another day and you guys know that i absolutely love this this is like in the same family of 540x straight that like fizzy airy musky uh sweet sandalwood the notes on this one are star flower sandalwood musk sugar tangelo white agarwood and radiant amber very very good this is amazing i love it i always recommend it and no i don't get cherry i want to say that um i don't get cherry so if you're gonna get this because you're looking for that cherry i don't think you're gonna find it i mean maybe you will because we're all different so i shouldn't say that but i really don't get cherry before i go on a whole tangent after i experienced it i went to go see further reviews i saw smelling great fragrance reviews he reviewed this one while he reviewed the line and the way he discussed it is literally how i perceive it so i wish i would have seen his review prior to purchasing it but yeah i really don't pick up much cherry in this it is unisex um I would say that it's right on the dot. I don't think that excuse one way or the other. I think it's just perfectly unisex. But 
you guys. I was obsessed with it. Like I love this so much and I've I've mentioned in the past actually that I want a perfume of this. Not a mist, a perfume of this. And this is basically this. But I ended up not liking it. It does this thing where it's very linear and I don't mind linear fragrances but I got really bored of it and really overwhelmed and it was obnoxious. I got this like midday and it was like 11 p.m 12 p.m it was late at night and i remember texting the girls and i was like this i don't think i like it i was like this is really annoying me it was very very fizzy it's this very fizzy wood scent that it doesn't project as crazy but there's this bubble around you that if anyone is close to you they're definitely going to smell it because it's like it stays within the bubble around you and it becomes too much like it just overwhelms you so that's pretty much what i get i get like a amber woody fizzy scent it's not too sweet i'm gonna link um his review down below because i think the way that he describes it is perfect and another thing that i want to mention because I, I was shocked myself i was like i always wanted a perfume like this and this is basically that this is the creamy fizzy uh sandalwood version of it and this one is just too fizzy there's no creaminess to it it also smelled uh synthetic i want to say and yeah so i gifted it to my 14 year old brother all right next one this is one that i've had for a year on my wish list i still have it on my wish list actually so i should uh, uh remove it this is her from zadik and voltaire I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I discovered this one from the Spanish side of like fragrance um, YouTube, I guess you could say. And it was discussed a lot. Did I? I hope this did not come to the top because I have a dent on this. I mean, I've been testing it out, but that's a dent. I hope it didn't come all the way to the top because what the hell? It's up to here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... If it came to the top, that's ridiculous. Anyways, um, on the Spanish side of YouTube, it was described as very sweet, very gourmandish, uh, like a whipped cream, whatever. I watch reviews, whatever, but I heavily, heavily um, rely on Fragantica. The notes, the accords, and the reviews that are written on Fragantica. So this is an oriental vanilla, and the main accords are sweet, vanilla, electonic, woody, and balsamic. And the main notes, according to your votes, are uh, whipped cream, vanilla, and hazelnut. That is an instant add to cart, purchase, buy. Like what? <sighs> I should have listened to my friend. <laughs> Becky recently talked about this in her video and we talk obviously, you know, outside of YouTube. She described it to us because we were all wanting to get it after she talked about it. Takara found um, a really good deal on eBay and we basically just all bought it. And Becky was like, okay, I just want to let you guys know. I think it's unisex, leaning masculine. The, the woods are what comes out. She said, I would layer this with cloud. Becky, you warned me. You told me. But I wanted to believe that on my skin, the whipped cream, the vanilla, and the hazelnuts would make me smell like a whole pastry. Delicious. Ah, uh, a dessert. Not even a snack. A dessert. And, um... It's not what I expected, to be honest with you guys. This on my skin is a sweet, but it's not the sweetness, rich, heavy sweetness that you're thinking about. This on me is quite airy, actually. It's very light. Uh, that was another thing that um, Fragantica Reviews said that they were like crazy projection and really heavy and rich or whatever on my skin it's not it's very light very airy similar to dolce e gabbana pour femme ariana grande cloud that airy sweetness same thing that i get from this one uh the most prominent on me is the sandalwood as becky warned me this is a sandalwood fragrance i love sandalwood i just wasn't expecting it to be sandalwood like I gotta keep it real with you guys. I wasn't expecting it to be sandalwood. If I knew it was sandalwood, I would just gotten one random one note fragrance that said sandalwood. I have been testing it out. The thing is I crave it, but I won't say that I'm wild. It also has this clean vibe about it. It has jasmine. I was talking to the girls. I was like, I smell this clean jasmine in it. Uh, Takara and I were talking about it and it has this like bar of soap. I will say that a very expensive like bar of white clean soap. Almost like if you opened up the, the carton, where the soap comes in that um or like if you just came out of the shower and you like took a bath and like that um scent that your skin gives off you just scrub yourself some nice clean soap that it actually kind of reminds me not that it's similar or whatever but the same texture of dolce e gabbana pour femme 
but I will say from that one I do like this one more because of the sandalwood the on the Porfem there was this prominent neroli notes on me I would come off and smelled like baby wipes ish I'm gonna link that video below because I talk about it already and whatever am I selling it not yet not yet um, I'm testing it out and I'll keep you guys updated what I think about it but that's what I get it's not a rich sweet heavy dessert um, I'm gonna link Becky's video below if you're thinking about getting that one and you don't care for my opinion about it but you want to hear some other opinions um, I feel like they described it quite well as well uh, Becky recently talked about it like I said so I'll link her video down below another person that I checked out after I bought this one was actually uh, Paulina Shaw she actually talked about it as well and the way that she describes it I think is pretty like on point as well like it's sandalwood airy I believe she said a slightly sweet not too sweet the way she described it, I remember that I was just watching that clip and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll link those two ladies down below if you were planning to get it. It's always nice to hear multiple people's opinions on it and yeah, because Fragantica played me this time. This is a long video. This is going to be a hard one to edit. Who knew that I would be so passionate about perfume so I could talk about this all day. Anyways, with that being said, comment down below your thoughts. What are some perfumes that are added to your wish list? Or also, if you have some of the ones that I mentioned, I would love, love, love to hear your thoughts and your opinions on it. And follow me on Instagram. I'm a lot more active there than I am here. Also, if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. With that being said, as always, I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.